Yo, Kepe Sky here. Hey, this is the Ultimia D60, Poseidon D60, a 5.1 Dolby Atmos decoding soundbar. And Ultimia sent this out for me for review. Thank you so much to them for making this video possible. We're going to hook this thing up and actually put it in my living room and see what kind of sound we get. I have tested it just a little bit, so I have a pretty good idea of what it sounds like. But this is a really cool soundbar because it's a 5.1, so five speakers in total plus one subwoofer and it decodes Dolby Atmos. So even though it's not Dolby Atmos enabled, it does decode a Dolby Atmos signal so that you can listen to all sorts of formats no matter what you're watching. So that's gonna be really nice. Now, I'm not entitled to say anything specific, so I will be giving you my full thoughts on this system. I'll go out and say right now that this is not the first Ultimia product that I've reviewed. This is maybe the second or third soundbar I've reviewed from them. And what I'm getting from them is that they're a small package, big sound kind of company. And this is no exception. This gives you over 400 watts of total system power. So it does get pretty loud. You do get a lot of accessories and I'll pull them out right now. So I'll zoom in on all these things for you, but you do have the remote, has all the buttons you need, all the inputs to select from. You can change the surround volume for the satellites and you can change the subwoofer volume as well. They give you an HDMI cord for you, just in case you don't have one, this will be nice to plug up to your TV. You're gonna to wanna to plug this up to the eARC or the ARC port of your TV, usually HDMI number two. They give you a lot of other cables and that's because these satellites here are not wireless. The subwoofer itself is wireless. If I turn it over on the back, it has the port on the top, the power button, the power input, the, the DC or the AC voltage input, and then it has two RCA outs. And these RCAs go to the satellite speakers. So the soundbar sends a wireless signal to the subwoofer and then the subwoofer um, dictates you know, where the information goes from there. You also get an RCA to, or two RCAs to headphone 3.5 millimeters, so you can plug up anything that uses a 3.5 millimeter jack. Of course, you get your literature and you get some mounting brackets that not only go to the sound bar to mount them, but you also can mount the satellite speakers too in case you don't have anything to put them on. So we're gonna set all this up right now. We're gonna head to the living room just one room over get this kind of situated, play a movie or maybe watch some TV on it and I'll give you guys my full thoughts. So we're in the living room right now and this is a complete temporary setup. I'm gonna end up getting a big TV and a little sound system here. So this is definitely temporary, but I went ahead and mounted it on the wall just so you guys can see how that looks. I hate wires, so this is already bothering me, but this is the sound bar on the wall. Like I said, it has eARC, so I can use the TV remote to make adjustments of volume on the screen and it also shows up there on the soundbar itself. So the speakers, again, are wireless in a sense that they connect to the subwoofer, which I just threw back here in the back and then the satellites are hanging on the wall. I decided to put them in the rear, not on the side because I have no wall over here other than this one way over here. So the wires that you connect to the satellites are very long, but I hate that they're not wireless because this is the result that you get. I would rather have this subwoofer up in the front. I'll tell you why after the demo, but this is the junk of cables that you get, unfortunately, with it. So I'm going to go ahead and play this little trailer demo for you guys so you guys can hear it. I'm going to switch to my stereo mic and let you guys have a little listen. If you do wrong, be afraid. Two shooters. They have training. For he does not bear the sword in vain. He carries out the ground on the wall. I will find him. All right, there's your demo of the Poseidon 
D60. So let's go ahead and talk about the pros and the cons. Let's start with the pros first. So looking at the sound bar, you're like, okay, it's small. There's no way it could be loud. That is completely opposite. You get a lot of sound with this sound bar. And my living room is actually a pretty large like, living room. Not necessarily the way I have it set up, but the space itself is pretty big. It opens up into the kitchen. It gives you plenty of sound. That was maybe 70% volume that we were watching. And so it sounds pretty loud. I'm pretty impressed, especially with the surround speakers. They actually get louder than the sound bar does, it seems like. So I like the power there. Um, the subwoofer itself definitely gets loud too. Not that it sounds the greatest at all those volumes, but it can get pretty loud as well. So overall volume, I do believe that we're getting a good bit of power out of the sound bar. Maybe not 400 watts, or maybe it is, but it doesn't. It does get pretty loud, and I'm pretty impressed with that. Even though it's tiny, it still fills your space. So that's an A plus there. The second thing I like about it is that it does decode Dolby Atmos. So a lot of these streaming like Netflix and Hulu, Disney Plus, they're now allowing Atmos to go through. So it's nice that you can decode that and still have that format supported, even though you don't initially get that full sound. There are benefits to having a Dolby Atmos encoder, even though you don't have the Dolby Atmos speakers playing. So that's really nice to see as well. As far as the dialogue and thing goes, I do like that you have the ability to change the bass level and change the loudness of the surround speakers because actually during that demo, I did turn down the surround speakers because I was hearing them way more than the sound bar to the point where I couldn't hear the voices in the sound bar anymore because the surround effects were so loud. So it's nice that I can turn that up or down. Same thing with the subwoofer. It is very beneficial to be able to turn that up or down because you don't know where you're probably gonna place it. If it's really close to the couch where you're gonna sit, you may wanna turn it down. If it's more up in the room, you may wanna turn it up. So I do like the configurability when it comes to that. Let's talk about the cons of the D60. One, because it is a small package, all of the bass and literally all of the bass comes from the subwoofer. That's low, mid-range, and kind of that upper mid-range bass voices and a little bit higher than that all comes from the subwoofer. And if you remember what I said earlier, I didn't like having it placed in the back. The reason being is because it's so far from the sound bar that you can hear where the sub is in the room and it's really distracting. So when people are talking or you have something making mid-range bass, instead of it coming from the front of the room where that person is speaking from, it's coming from the back. And so it kind of throws you off a little bit. And that's because the, since the sound bar doesn't have that much bass on its own, that the subwoofer has to do everything. So you hear that speaker wherever it's at in the room. And you could help that by putting it up in the front. The problem with putting the sub in the front is that the wires aren't long enough to reach to the back where you're gonna put your surround speakers. And that's why I wish the surround speakers were wireless and the subwoofer was not. Because that way you can place the sub in more places um, and then you can keep your surround speakers in the back and not have wires hanging everywhere. I get it, you wanna connect your sub to your speakers and be able to put all of it in the back, but it doesn't work out well when you have a subwoofer that does the heavy load. So I do wish that the surrounds were wireless and the subwoofer was not. I could deal with that, especially because the sub's gonna be on the ground, so you have a better chance of hiding those wires than you do with the surround speakers if you're gonna be putting them on the wall like I did in this demonstration. Otherwise, I don't have too much bad to say about the sound bar. It only comes in at 169 on Amazon with a $30 coupon. So it's not a very expensive soundbar, therefore you can't expect too much, but there are some very good competitors out there who offer things in that price range. For example, Vizio's the leader in soundbars, they offer tons of products in that price range, and I'm gonna have to give the upper hand to Vizio. I think you can find a better Vizio soundbar that gives you a little bit better bass and wireless rear speakers for the same price. Also, on O N N from Walmart has a actual 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos soundbar, way bigger with a way better subwoofer that will blow this soundbar out of the water for 
$199. And I've seen people tell me that they found it for $99 at their Walmart. It's a steal. Now that soundbar doesn't have wireless speakers like the Poseidon D60 does, but it has a 12 times better sound for the same or potentially less money. They do offer bigger, better sound bars, Ultimia does. And I do recommend maybe looking into those. But if you're in a small apartment or you just want a little bit better sound, you cannot go wrong with the D60. It does sound pretty good. It's way better than your TV speakers are. It comes with a wireless subwoofer, eARC, all the connections you need to make. It took me literally four minutes to set it up. It's very simple and user friendly and the price point isn't too bad. Um, and so it's, it's a really good you know, sound bar to keep in consideration, but do your research and make sure that this will work out for you. you. Just keep in mind the subwoofer, the wires, the wireless speakers, things like that. Keep in mind you have to have somewhere to put all this stuff. So with that being said, thank you to Ultimia for sending this out to me for review. Very much appreciate it. I will leave this down below in the comment section if you guys want to take a closer look into this. I will leave you a link on Amazon to this as well as their website. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already. And we will see you in the next video. K-Face Guy out. Peace.